have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, into the Father, into the Son, into the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive our trespasses against us. And it is not a temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Captain. 
salvation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That we may be delivered from our affliction, our hatred, and the sin defeat. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us above our bloody grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorate our most holy, most pure, most blessed Lord, and please take us over us. And give us the Virgin Mary together with all the saints. Let us commend ourselves and one another in our whole life unto Christ our God. To thee, O Lord. For unto thee our joy, glory, honor, and worship. To the Father, to the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Now and ever, to the ages of ages. Amen. Blessed is the man that has not walked in the counsel of the ungodly. Alleluia. For the Lord knows the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly will perish. Alleluia. Serve the Lord with fear and rejoice.
bow down and worship before your precious cross of Christ, and be glorified and praise your resurrection. For by your wounds we have all been healed. When divine desire fell upon you, O venerable one, you considered passing attachments to the world to be harmful. Therefore you forsook your homeland and arrived in the holy mountain. There in the midst of the fathers, O Anthony, you shone forth in virtue like a beacon. Entry Christ whom you have served from your youth, that he save and enlighten your soul. When you were set afire by the love of Christ, O venerable one, you despised the wisdom and glory of this world as things that pass away. Therefore you made a cave for yourself, and in it you struggled like an corporal being. As a result, you were granted from on high the honors of the bodiless ones, standing with them before the throne of Christ. Pray that he save and enlighten our souls. When you receive divine love in your heart, O Father, you enter the dark cave as though it were an all splendid bridal chamber, and there you were enriched with the understanding of ineffable things, to behold the things of the future as though they were present which you then explain to all, entreat Christ whom you have served from your youth, that you save and enlighten our souls. O Venerable Father Anthony, you illumine your mind with the grace of the Holy Spirit, and with foresight you prophetically predicted the wrath of God that would fall upon the Orthodox. Therefore you entrusted to Simon the defense against the enemies, and before the construction of the church you foretold that he would be laid to rest therein. Therefore we praise you as a mediator of good things for all, and ask that you, and ask from you that we receive great mercy from God. May the Lord and nation praise him, all people. O venerable Father Anthony, you fulfill the commandments of Christ, the true shepherd and teacher, and show forth love even after your departure. By your prayers, you transform the deadly illness of the slothful Erasmus, giving him time for repentance and guiding others to chastity. Entreat Christ that our souls may be saved. O venerable Father Anthony, with God's help you steered the ship of your mind with chastity and safely sailed across the passion-laden deep of the sea of his life. You attained the calm haven of paradise, where the saints dwell in the righteous rest. We beseech you to pray with them that we may also obtain rest as there is. Your way of life and your labors for God were difficult, as the fathers of the holy mountain learned. Therefore, in accordance with God's providence, they sent you back to your homeland, saying, Go, child, through you, go, child, that through you God may be known there by those who did not know him. When you arrived, you enlightened your native land and became a leader, bringing a multitude of monastics to Christ. Therefore, pray that we who celebrate your falling asleep may be preserved unharmed by the enemy 
and there are souls may be saved. How can we not wonder at your mystical childbearing, O exalted Mother? For without receiving the touch of man, you gave birth to a son in the flesh, O Immaculate Virgin. The Son, born of the Father before eternity, was born of you as the fullness of time, O honored Lady. He underwent no mingling, no change, no division, but preserved the fullness of each nature. Entreat him, O Lady and Virgin and Mother, to save the souls of those who in the Orthodox manner confess you to be the Theotokos. Wisdom Sovereignty from the Most High, 
who will search out your works and inquire into your plans. Wisdom, Pythagoras, no wisdom, Solomon. Let us be attentive. The righteous man that we die in will be at rest, for when age is not upon us for length of time, for better by number of years, by the understanding of gray hair for him, and blameless life and ripe old age, for the one who pleased God and was loved by him, who has caught up less evil change with understanding, or guile deceived soul, for the fascination of wickedness is pure and goes good, and loving desire for her takes in mind, being perfected. Being perfected in a short time fulfills long years, for his soul is pleasing to the Lord. Therefore, he took him quickly from the midst of wickedness, that the people saw and did not understand. For it takes such a thing of heart that God brings him mercy over his elect, and watches over his holy ones. Let us say with our soul, with all our mind, let us say, Lord, have mercy. Lord, am I in joy of our fathers? We pray to have you have mercy.
should say with it. Let's ask to the Lord. Rest is your Lord. Born into a feast of faithful God and guardian of our souls and bodies. Let us ask to the Lord. For the pardon and remission of our sins and transgressions, let us ask to the Lord. Grant this, O Lord, for all things that are good and beneficial for our souls and for peace in the world. Let us ask to the Lord. Grant this, O Lord, that we may complete the remaining time of our lives in peace and repentance. Let us ask to the Lord. Grant this, O Lord, for our Christian into our lives, painless, blameless, and peaceful. And be good defense before the dread judgment seat of Christ. Let us ask to the Lord, grant this, O Lord, commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed, and most faithful of Opus, and ever Virgin Mary, together with all the saints. Let us commend ourselves and one another in our whole life unto Christ our God, to Thee, O Lord. For Thou art a good God, a lover of humankind, and a we send of glory to the Father and to the Son, and Holy Spirit. Now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. Peace be to all. Bow your heads to the Lord. O Lord. O Lord our God, who is bowed in heaven, to come down to the salvation of the human race. Look upon your servants and your inheritance, for to you, the dread judge who loved humankind, have your servants bowed their heads and submissively inclined their necks. Awaiting not help from men, but your mercy, in expectation of your salvation, and do you protect at all times, both during the present evening and in the approaching night, from every adverse action of the devil, from vain thoughts and evil imaginations. Blessed and most glorified be the majesty of your kingdom, of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. The sun was darkened by your passion, O Christ, but all creation was enlightened by the light of your resurrection, except our evening song, O lover of man. That I should obtain the love of change is right in the mind Your light during resurrection, O Lord, enlightened the whole universe, recalling your creation. Delivered from heaven's curse, we sing, O Almighty Lord, glory to you. For you have done the work of soul, thou shalt never be moved. You are the changeless God, whose suffering and the flesh were changed. Creation could not endure seeing you on the cross. It was filled with fear while praising your patience. By descending to hell and rising on the third day, you have granted to the world life and great mercy. You endure death, O Christ, to deliver the race of men from death. You rose from the dead on the third day, raising with yourself those who knew you as God, and enlightening the world. Glory to you. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Wondrous is the influence and grace of faith that you have acquired, O venerable Anthony, emulating the prophet Elijah, for he drew down fire from heaven to consume the sacrifice, while you drew down fire from heaven by your supplications to consume and cleanse the place where you desire to build the all-glorious temple of the Sovereign Lady and Theotokos, therefore blessing you as one who dwells with the venerable and emulates the prophets. We pray that you entreat Christ that our souls be saved. Now and ever and to ages of ages, amen. My maker and redeemer, Christ the Lord, was born of you, O most pure virgin. By accepting my nature, he freed Adam from his ancient curse. Unceasingly we magnify you as the Mother of God. Rejoice, O celestial joy. Rejoice, O Lady. The protection, intercession, and salvation of our souls. Lord, now let us thou thy servant depart in peace, according to thy word. For my eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast 
the venerable Anthony of the Kiev Caves, founder of monasticism in the lands of Rus, 40, 45 martyrs of the populace in Armenia, including Leontius, Maurice, Daniel, Anthony, Alexander, Sicinius, Menaeus, and Melorat, the placing of the honorable robe of the Lord in Moscow, venerable Sylvanus, schema monk of the Kiev Caves, martyr Apollonius of Sardis, martyrs Bianor and Sylvanus of Pisidia, the 10,000 fathers of the deserts and caves of Ski, martyred by the impious patriarch Theophilus of Alexandria, martyred Nicodemus of Elvisan in Albania, the monastic martyr Nectarius of St. Enski on the holy mountain of Athos, of the holy and righteous ancestor of God, Joachim and Anand, of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us, for he is good and a lover of humankind.